A man found a tiny dying baby animal in the forest. He rescued and raised the cub, which quickly grew, and to the man's great surprise, turned into a huge, fierce predator. Tom had been working as a ranger in the National Park for several years. One day, while patrolling the forest near a beautiful mountain, he heard a faint, barely audible squeak nearby. Tom followed the sound and soon saw a tiny newborn baby animal, barely visible among the leaves and branches. It was clear that the cub had just been born. Its small body was dirty and wet from the amniotic fluids. The umbilical cord had not yet fully detached. The cub was tiny the size of a mouse and easily fit in Tom's palm. Its eyes were closed and it was crying pitifully from hunger and cold. Tom understood that the unfortunate cub had been left without its mother for some reason. Perhaps she had become seriously ill and died, or maybe the cub was too weak and the mother had decided to abandon it. The ranger felt sorry for the poor creature and knew he wouldn't leave it to fend for itself. The cub wouldn't have lasted long and would likely have become prey for hungry predators. Tom decided to take the cub home with him to try to save and raise it there. The first few days were the hardest. Tom had no idea what to feed the cub. He tried to give it warm milk from a bottle. Sometimes it worked, but sometimes the cub refused to eat for some inexplicable reason. However, the ranger did not give up and made sure to feed the animal every two hours. In addition, the caring Tom often held the cub in his hands, warming it with his body heat. Weeks passed and the cub began to grow stronger. Initially, it was the size of a mouse, but within a week, it looked like a large, plump hamster. Every day, the cub became more active and curious. It became evident that the ranger had saved the cub of some feline predator. Tom was very happy that he had noticed the cub that day and saved its life. Now, the man was very fond of his unusual pet and even gave it a beautiful name, Archie. The ranger took care of him as if he were his own child. After all, Archie had become the closest creature to him since Tom had become a widower a few years ago. A few weeks later, the ranger decided to show the cub to a veterinarian to check its health and how it was growing. The specialist was astonished upon examining the animal. It turned out that Tom was raising none other than a real black panther cub. Tom was just as surprised as the veterinarian, for it was one of the rarest and most dangerous predators in the world. During all his years of working in the reserve, he had only seen adult black panthers a couple of times as they are nocturnal and try to avoid people. The ranger knew very well that black panthers are extremely rare in the wild less than 10% of leopards have a completely black coat. Tom built a small enclosure next to his house for his pet so that he could spend more time outdoors. The man took care of him for several months until the panther became fully independent. Before releasing the animal into the wild, it had to go through additional rehabilitation at the Wildlife Protection Center, where specialists would help it adapt to the new conditions. Tom handed Archie over to the center with a heavy heart, understanding that it was better for the panther. However, at first, without his beloved owner, Archie refused to eat and just lay gloomily in the corner of his enclosure. When Tom learned about this, he rushed to the center immediately. Seeing his rescuer and friend, Archie leaped into his arms and didn't want to let go for a long time, while tears welled up in Tom's eyes. From that moment on, Tom visited the Wildlife Protection Center several times a week to see Archie. The panther was always very happy to see him, and the center's specialists told the ranger that the predator was almost ready for life in the wild. Archie's hunting instincts were well-developed, and he was gradually becoming a nimble and strong predator. When the day finally came to release the panther into the wild, Tom was by his side in the national park. The ranger hugged his old friend tightly and wished him good luck. Archie looked intently at the man, then turned and disappeared into the jungle with a few large leaps. Tom barely held back his tears as he watched the panther leave, hoping that they would meet again someday.